There's a, a video of um, obviously a plane uh, woman uh, just going off on a fucking plane. Where is it? Is that the new? Is that the new way of saying white? Just plain woman? Yeah, plain woman. Okay. It's a <laughs> black, yellow air, aircraft, uh, air airplane. Uh, black woman causes problems on plane. <laughs> See, I, I made it vague, and, <laughs> and so I don't really know what it is. <laughs> you got here. We go. Shut up. Uh, pause pause for me because she keeps saying this. She goes, "We on the motherfucking ground. Let me the fuck off. Like it's Uber. Like yeah. it's a fucking cab. Oh yeah, this corner right here. Yeah, just yeah. let me off. I actually, do let her off. I want her to get sucked into one of those engines. Yeah, on yeah, tarmac. yeah. <laughs> Unless the the plane is at the the gate with the the jetway against it and the door opened, you are not getting off the fucking plane." It's just not, they're like taxiing. Yeah. And she's like, we're on the ground. Let me off. With a total lack of understanding of how airline protocol works. It's like when they get mad at, at military people for going to a war, a bad war. Yeah. It's like, we. T so tell me your scenario. Every private says, I don't really think Afghanistan is going to be fruitful. <laughs> yeah. We yeah, go through yeah. all thousands and thousands. Right, right. We don't have time for that. Similarly, Obviously, we can't have people just meandering across the tarmac. Across the, yeah, <laughs> just walking back to the terminal or or maybe not. Maybe a different gate. Maybe, maybe I'll try Terminal C. It's hitch, only a hitching a ride with that long baggage. <laughs> maybe jump it on it. Ram, jump on it. Why not? Whatever. It's, uh, look, we on the ground. Take it a call. We on the ground. Get, let me off the plane. Dude, that's a dog. That's a super smart golden retriever. <laughs> and you're like, oh, Eddie, he wants to get out. He's like, we're on the ground. Rawr, rawr, rawr. You ever see Where's... sometimes they get out of their crate and they're running around yeah, the, yeah. the airport, uh, uh, the, the terminal area uh, outside, and the, the guys with the sticks are trying to catch yeah, them yeah. in areas? <laughs> oh, it's, That's what she It's thinks. like a chipmunk on the baseball field. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the you had... are chasing a squirrel around. It, th that's what she thinks. If you had real balls yeah, and you're on that flight, you'd be like, Oh, it wants to get out of its crate. It wants. Isn't wants. that adorable? <laughs> it wants. I, I haven't been around one of these, even oh. though you see thousands a day. But I hope I'm man enough to do something like, oh, look how angry it is. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's throwing the straw dispenser. Hilarious. That's really mad. That would be so oh. fucking funny. Imagine how much more angry it would be. <laughs> <Holy> <laughs> you would fucking be in the... In the crosshairs, dude. But that is funny. I would love that. Handed a gun. Yeah, hand in a gun. <laughs> All right, here, here's a, here she is. We're all right. right. We on the motherfucking ground. Let me the fuck off. Shut up. Get your hands off me. Get your fucking 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 hands off me. It's it's 15 feet off the ground. Yeah, yeah. First of all, where are you going? What are you gonna hang and pop? No, you're gonna ruin our trip. Sit your ass down. Hey, calm down, calm down, calm down, please. I always said we wanna make commotion. Hey, calm down, calm down. Shut up. We on the ground, right? I'm tired. I ain't smoked a cigarette. So are we. Who cares? Yeah. I ain't smoked a cigarette in seven smoking. fucking hours. Everybody Shut up. Fire, man. Got kids here. Shut Anybody up. Anybody tired? I didn't touch her. I saw. I didn't touch her. Yes, you yes, did. did. I didn't touch her. I went around like that. Yeah. Arrest her ass in Orlando. Let's go. <laughs> Arrest her ass in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> You get the hell out of my face. Hell, man. See, as another passenger, you're sitting here going, please don't yeah. make this miss my flight. I don't want to fucking deboard. I don't give a fuck about the boys. I don't give a fuck about the boys. I'm going to get the fuck off. I don't give a fuck. You should have tried to explain in a civil tone. You should have taken the bus. Good luck. Yeah. I'm going to get off. You stupid as fuck, cause when you call law enforcement, I'ma get yeah. off, bitch. I'ma get off. Now let me the fuck off. And you'll end up going to You get the fuck out of my face. Put her on the no fly, so I don't have to get her on the way back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Like, he works, yeah, he works for the airline. The this is like so, seven hours from Orlando. Yeah. That's Europe, isn't it? The other way. Maybe Seattle. Yeah, yes. It's Seattle. 
Put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Shut the fuck up, you have got damn life. You put your arm around my fucking neck. I ain't never touched you. Shut up. And I never touched you. I never touched you. You're touching me right now. You're touching me. You're touching my door. You're touching my door, yeah. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck. They never think of anything else. Okay, so you're right. I'm opening the door. Go get your bags. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. you a hanging drop. Yeah, yeah. From the edge. This is the captain. We need all passengers seated so we can return to the gate. There it is. She fucked everyone. Yep. Wait a minute. Return to the, return gate. To the gate. She said I haven't had a cigarette in seven hours. Yeah, I think they were. Uh, uh, Either in a no smoking oh, airport, or they were. Dude, she gets the air, the airport two hours early. Yeah, it's two. Then she gets on the plane. Yeah, yeah. And then there's maybe like three hours. Maybe she's wrong about seven. There's yeah. three hours of like getting ready to go, and then they're in the lineup yeah. to go. She maybe a connecting flight too. She might have had to. Oh right, a connecting flight, yeah, so yeah, she couldn't yeah. smoke, and then. There's no you know, smoke break with connections. Yeah, shit like that. So she's on there like freaking out, no smoking. Uh, but, I mean, she's just fucking everyone on that plane. And it's like, yep, well, bring it back to the gate. Oh, like you're sitting in your seat that. going, please, just stun gunner or something. Yeah, something, going. something. And then you, it's sort of like food poisoning where you go, yeah. yeah, you're puke. And you're like, I think we're good. Yep. I think we're good. And then half an hour later, you start feeling kind of woozy. And you're like, yeah, yeah. We're not done, boys. Yeah. So there must be, a, after like 10 seconds of hysteria, you're, it's like being woozy and you're like, you're going to get barfed out of this plane. Yeah, yeah. So you're like, not looking good, boys. Yeah. <laughs> We're fucked. While they are on the ground also, the uh, the slides are armed. So so if you open that door, the slide will come out. That's how that shit works. Oh. The, the, when, you, when you hear like a... Uh, uh, prepare for gate cross check when you hear him go cross check they are checking the doors uh, and they got to make sure that the the uh slide is disarmed right so they could open the door for the gate and the slide doesn't fucking come out that's part of the flight attendant so if that woman opens the door on the ground uh the slide will come out and now imagine how long that fucking takes they don't just roll, roll it back. that back up yeah. they don't just roll it back up and tuck it in in 10 minutes and you're ready to go no that plane's done for, for yeah yeah three days. yeah it's like picking up uh one of those uh super slide kid fucking yeah, water yeah, slide yeah. things and putting it back in the garage and it's there's not probably like four people in the entire state who can go yeah you folded that right yeah right, right. that gonna, has to be gonna certified reopen. and yeah that's yeah, good. yeah everything's the fine panic has to come in all the union guys <laughs> so like that would take forever and she's just no open the door we on the ground we on the motherfucking ground uh is that how it works it's a nightmare miss fucking united airlines miss miss spirit air we covered this one that i thought you were about to show uh -huh. where she gets on and the, the, she's she's waiting she won't sit down uh-huh she's waiting in line for the bathroom and she's like, I'm going to take my... And the woman's like, can you please sit down with turbulence, whatever. We're oh, like. boy. And then eventually the flight attendant does the worst thing ever. She just pushes past her. Oh! She goes, you ain't going to touch me. I'm a queen. Oh, I'm a queen. Are you? And then are the, you? the steward's like, I'm just getting trying to get past you. You won't move. And then this white woman goes, you're, you're just not listening. Oh, no. And now that's two people who dared to question a queen. <gasps> A queen. A queen. So she goes, she's telling you, that you're white privilege. You are white privilege. You are white privilege. Oh, sure. You sure. don't got that no more. I'm a queen. Uh, and then it becomes all people came from Africa, which I believe. So she's giving a little lesson there and, on the plane. Well, that becomes, because they all come from Africa, it's like they all were birthed out of her vagina. Her vagina. You so, owe me. Yeah, so black people are the only ones that can reproduce. Right, right, in right. In the sense that they make Asians and whites. and It's just the way it is. Which is an argument in a sense. It's a very <laughs> weird argument. But as Jim Goad points out, you're also saying you're the most primitive human being. Right, right. Because you were the, the earliest model. We're like 13.0. Right. You're the Model T, and we are the fucking, yeah. you know. Like, you're, if you're my great, 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 great grandmother, you're an old, wizened, dead <laughs> yeah. skeleton. And all this is supposed to get her in the bathroom how? Yeah. This well, she, lesson. she knows she's getting arrested, and it takes forever. Oh, oh. I think it takes forever because they insist on a black cop. 
Oh, I honestly would bet a thousand bucks. Oh, I bet that they because I've seen it happen. I've seen plane stuff. Well, I got called racist once by a Jamaica woman because I when we were going to Jamaica because I said that's my kid's seat, and and so they said, sure, ma'am, you're gonna that's have to racist. move. Racist. Oh, I see how it goes. The white man comes here and the black woman has to look. The race card's just sitting on the floor. Mm -hmm. You'd be dumb not to use it. What if you're playing a video game and there's a battle axe sitting right there? What are you supposed to do? Mo I'm Queens of Mulberry rules? Keep my dukes up and, no. and yeah, yeah. Just I, grab I it. Say, you're right. Just pick it up and start swinging. It's very nice of you to realize that. Well, it there. could mean we saw this thing with Starbucks today yeah, yeah. where these guys got kicked out. I sent it to you, right? Years ago, yeah. Years they, those ago. Guys that got arrested, they were waiting for a friend in the Starbucks and they wanted to use the bathroom and, and uh, the person in there denied them use of that because they weren't paying customers. Right. And then uh, there, there was kind of a uh, verbal altercation and then the cops show up, they call the cops, and the cops arrested these two guys right. for trespassing or something. Uh, that made a big thing where it made the news. We remember this. 8,000 so, Starbucks closed. Yeah, yeah. So all of these employees could go through racial bias training. Oh, yeah, training. And then they made a policy where any anyone that wants to come in and use the bathrooms can. And they ended up making fucking shooting galleries out of their uh And their homeless bathrooms. shit. It was literally a shit, shit show. Yeah, it was a shit show. Uh, so then they had to close hundreds of Starbucks because yep. the bathroom was a fucking crack yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they fired the white manager as yep. a sort of a show. A She's in charge of that store and a hundred other Starbucks. She was pretty high up in the... Uh, and she wasn't even there. No, or no. If she was, she had nothing to do with it. She didn't see it happen. No, she's one that is like a district manager of right. a shitload of stores. So, oh, I have the northeast sector of, of stores, and I you know, do all the paperwork to make sure the money's coming in and what stock they need, and like that was her job. And she gets the boot because a store under her jurisdiction uh, was horribly racist to these two uh, black gentlemen. So she gets twenty five million. Twenty five million which is bucks. Kind of good, I guess. Yeah. Like that's good to hear. But the the closing down of all those stores, the shit and the heroin. How many junkies, by the way, uh, were encouraged to continue their habit because there was a safe place right. to go shoot up, and then they OD'd. I wonder how many OD'd in the bathroom where they opened it up and found <laughs> yeah, a dead yeah. fucking heroin <laughs> uh, addict in in a Starbucks bathroom. And, and then the thousands of them closing for that retraining thing, all because uh, these two assholes. Yeah. And by the way, they made out like bandits. They they oh, they signed an NDA. We don't know how much money they made, but they probably got a three million dollars each. Yep, lotto. And they could tell that was happening when they yeah, walked out too, because yep. they were like, Yeah, yeah. And yeah. all the white people were going, What did he do wrong? He didn't do anything. Ugh. What did he do? I love how Sorry. everyone becomes a fucking lawyer. Or a cop, Kill a mockingbird, or a all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Everyone is. Uh, What's his name? Atticus Gregory Finch. Peck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Atticus Finch. Everyone wants to have a meeting. Oh, okay. God. Hey, we're, we'll meet at Starbucks. We'll buy something. Yeah, it's not your personal meeting spot. That's all you would have had to do. Buy something. Sit at the table all a, a fucking crumpet. day. That's what these fucking douchebags do all the time. They go in with their laptop. They use the Wi-Fi. Yep. They buy a fucking cup of coffee and sit there for eight hours, and, and no one gives a shit because they bought something. It's kind of Starbucks model. Yeah. Like we're a work zone. Whatever you call those work spaces where you can go. Yeah, you, know you come I mean? in and we're like a cheap, away. cheap work zone, and I'm banking on it not being too busy, and I'm not losing table space. It's kind right, of a, right. a cheap workspace gamble. Yeah, yeah. The majority are just going to come in and leave. Uh, so they take that gamble. Those guys don't even follow that, which is a courtesy. Uh -huh. like, go walk into a bodega and try to take a shit. Yeah. You're not invited. How do you not know that basic tenet of society, employees for customers only? Yeah. I mean, bathrooms are customers only. And how about even walking into a place of business and just standing there with a buddy and, and talking? Uh, you're leaning against the counter at the bodega. Wouldn't someone go, excuse me, can I help you? What are you doing? Oh, yeah, we're just going to hang out here and talk and wait for a friend to show up. No. Go into, into a restaurant, sit at a booth. There you go. Hey, here's the menu. What can I get you? Uh, nothing. We're waiting, we, we're waiting to have a meeting. Oh, so when the, oh. The, your, your guy shows up, you're going to order some food and stuff? No. I'm not even answering that. That's no. none of your business. <laughs> it's none of your fucking I'm business. I'm just going to go stink up your yeah, yeah. for your paying customers. Come on, if I take a... Uh, a ridiculously toxic <laughs> dump in your <laughs> lovely bathroom. 
And I, I'm sure they are like, just like the Central Park Five, like they're just going to their graves going, we got fucked over real bad. That yeah, yeah, night. yeah. And it's like, Ugh. if you just knew the most basic tenets of living in a society. <laughs> exactly. Almost immeasurable problems mm. wouldn't have happened. Yeah, yeah. From the training to the money to the junkies to the shit to the closing down to the moving out of the Pacific yes. Northwest. <laughs> you fucking assholes. The destruction you're able to cause rivals BLM. Yeah. Everything has a, a protocol. And, and a lot of these things aren't written down somewhere. There's not rules that you can read on the wall before you walk in and and start an interaction with somebody or a place of business. They're just known by people with the most basic of common sense. That's how societies work. 